As narrow boats go, this one is very. I've had my narrowboat Rosie for four years now, and uh, I've been plenty of time to mess about on the water. I've always fancied having a, a remote control boat. And I came across this guy down Newark who not only made remote control narrowboats, but remote control models of your narrowboat, and I knew I was on to a winner. The famous steamboat president was just one of John Rawson's triumphs. His radio-controlled model is a precise replica powered by a miniature steam engine. But John Melling's boat posed a different challenge. What I wanted more than anything was a good, true, honest replication of my boat Rosie. I wanted it to have all the little extra bits and pieces on it that we could find, like the smoking chimney, the bow thruster, the lights, the horn. What I wanted as well was the sound of a diesel engine, and I think it's just put the icing on the cake and really finished the model off very well. It gives me hours of endless entertainment and turns an awful lot of heads for anyone walking by or cruising past on their narrowboat. Very nice too, that's nice. <laughs> The boat's built out of marine ply and absolutely stacked with various electronic devices and controls and one thing or another. It took John 126 hours to build. It was not cheap. I've obviously had to take out extra insurance cover because that would be a lot of money to sink to the bottom of the canal and a lot of craftsmanship would go with it. I can still be up and down the canal moving about without having to worry about getting a nice spot to moor. I'll just fetch her back and put her back on board. You can see the top comes off. These connect all the electronics to the upper part of the boat. And over here we've got the tiller control. There's two batteries to power the boat, here and here, and they also provide some very useful ballast. In between the two batteries are all the various controls and all the electronics. Starting off with the receiver switch, switch it on and off. And even if you're going to annoy other boaters, you can switch the sound of the engine off. I did toy with the idea of putting a model of myself on the back, but I thought, why spoil a work of perfection like that with a model of me on the back? That wouldn't do at all. 